You've heard of Advent. You've heard of Christmas. Easter. And those long stretches of ordinary time. But and now, now it's, it's time, time for Lent. So don your sackcloth and ash. It's time to get penitent. It's time for some prayer, fasting, and almsgiving. Mmm, Buffalo Wild Wings, my favorite. No, 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 no. It's Lent. It's Friday during Lent. You can't have it. No, no. <laughs> Sorry, no. Father Arlo. Right but the bridegroom is gone and there's no time for feasting. This should tide you over until tomorrow. Yeah, go ahead. Give a little something. Let's find out how else you can fast. I have given up chocolate for Lent. I've given up snacking for Lent. I've given up caffeine for Lent. I'm giving up Netflix. Social media. Gluten. I'm giving up my phone. I'm giving up cursing. I'm giving up sweets. I'm going vegan. I'm giving up social media. I'm giving up TV. I'm going 100% Old Testament diet. Yeah, I'm giving up driving. I'm giving up shoes. I'm giving up my mattress. No hot water. I'm gonna give up breathing, starting right now. I'm gonna wear shorts the whole time, even though it's March. I'm giving up my house for Lent, and I'm gonna do Lent in a tent. One meal a day. I'm going to be wearing a hair shirt all Lent. Yeah, no earrings, no hair ties. I'm not gonna brush my hair either. I'm giving up sitting. I think I'll wear the same shirt the whole time. I'm giving up education. Is that allowed? Yeah, that seems good. Father, I was just gonna give up chips. I was going to go for the smaller bags of chips. Downsize the chips. So what's the purposes for the sacrifices? It's not so that God can see that we're like really good. No, the sacrifices are for us. Whenever you're about to go drink that coffee and you remember that you can't drink, or going to eat that extra piece of chocolate, and now you remember that you're not because you gave it up, all right? It reminds us on the time frame that we're in. And with it, hopefully, it will remind us to reflect on the path that we're taking. It could be giving up something, it could be adding something, meaning do an extra prayer for those who are struggling right now. Do a prayer for those that you are having a conflict with. Calling somebody who know needs or could use a phone call. So it's not just taking it out, it could be adding to it. So what's Ash Wednesday, what's Lent about? Easy, it's a time to, for us to slow down and reflect where we're coming from, where we're going. If the idea is to go and get into heaven, is the path that we're leading right now leading us to that? The idea behind ashes is to remind us that we're nothing and to nothing we will turn back to. It's not something mandatory, it's something just for us to remember. In the Catholic Church, we have a great collection of forehead crosses. They make sure we learn those in the seminary.
So this Wednesday, we want you to get your ash in church. That's right, we want all of you to get all of your ashes in church this Wednesday. We'll see you in... So this Wednesday, we want you to get your sacramentally burned palm branches from last year's Palm Sunday smeared on your forehead in the shape of a cross to remind you of your mortality.